Hello everyone, I'm Will Shademan, and, to, and today I will be discussing the academic strategies of time management and willpower. Let's first discuss time management. Time management is extremely crucial in college because you do not want to get behind in your classes, and if you do get in behind in your classes, it will create a lot of stress. Finally, let's discuss willpower. During my senior year of high school, I had difficulty with senioritis and not having the willpower to get my uh, homework done. And, uh, and from my advice for the class of 26, 20, 2020 on how to succeed in these areas, it'd be first, manage your time well, and secondly, have the will and desire to get everything done. Now, now, let's, now let's go over to, to Emily to discuss note-taking, and stress and anxiety. Thanks, Will. I will be talking about note-taking and stress and anxiety. There are different ways that you take notes in the class. You can take notes Cornell style, you can use mapping, a timeline, graphic organizers, a matrix, a flowchart, etc. The style you use, though, should be helpful to you in the subject of the class. If you take good notes, then you can study more efficiently and reduce, reduce stress and anxiety. Speaking of stress and anxiety, when it comes to that, it is important to make sure that your stress levels remain low. When you have higher levels of stress, you tend to not focus and perform as well in the class. Stress can also affect test performance, you know, if the stress level is too high. Personally, I tend to stress out right before a test, and as a result, I don't perform as well. Speaking of test taking, the staff will go over the different strategies of test taking and how to do well on a test. All right, so I'll be talking about test taking strategies. First of all, you will need to create a five-day study plan. The first step is to be specific and realistic. This is where you will need to um, identify the necessary topics and material needed to study. The second step is to uh, set some target dates and times, meaning create a schedule of what days and times you'll be studying and making sure it adds up to quite some time. Um, the third step is to know what material will be covered in each um, time frame you set out for this test review. And the last step is to plan a reward, which you earn at the end of each review session and overall your whole review. Um, now some really quick tips before and after the test. Before the test, uh, be prepared, review some flashcards or with a group and get a good night's sleep. Be confident, be full of nutritious food, be there early and be comfortable. Be com During the test, read directions, skim through the test, budget your time, skip questions if necessary, and review your answers if time allows it. And these are all the tips we have for the class of 2020.